Hello viewers, here we will discuss about the atmospheric stability. Atmospheric stability determines whether or not air will rise, sink or essentially do nothing. Stability is dependent upon the dry and saturated adiabatic lapse rates and the environmental lapse rate. In this session we will learn about the lapse rate, environment lapse rate, isothermal, inversion, adiabatic process, dry and moist adiabatic lapse rate. The rate of fall of temperature with height is called lapse rate. In this figure from point L to M, temperature is falling with increase in altitude thus lapse rate is normal. Environment lapse rate is the actual fall of environment temperature with height. If the temperature remains constant with height, it is called isothermal. In this figure from point M to N, temperature is constant with increase in altitude thus this is isothermal region. The rise of temperature with height is called inversion. In this figure from point N to O, temperature is increasing with increase in altitude. An adiabatic process is defined as a process in which no heat is transferred into or out from the system. Mixing of air is a adiabatic process as air is poor conductor of heat, so air mixing with environment is very slow. Let's understand adiabatic process. The key to understanding temperature changes is the decrease in pressure with height. This means that as air rises, it will experience less pressure and will expand. Near Earth surface pressure in the environment will be more. Environment pressure will compress the balloon or air parcel. Compressed air warms as the molecules are confined to a smaller volume. If you lift the air parcel or balloon, it will find itself in a place where the surrounding environmental air pressure is lower, because we know that pressure decreases with height. Thus, it will experience less pressure and will expand. Air that expands cools as molecules spread out to a larger volume. Thus, as air rises, it will expand and cool. And as air sinks it will compress and warm. These temperature changes are called adiabatic. Temperature changes that occur without heat being added or taken away. The topic of stability in atmospheric science is important because the formation of clouds and thunderstorms are closely related to stability or instability in the atmosphere. Let's understand atmospheric stability using the air parcel experiment. We will move an air parcel from ground and lift to a certain height and release. There are three possibilities, it will sink back to ground, or it will continue rise upward, or it will remain where it was left. Air parcel acquires a relative motion in the environment from its initial position. This displacement of air parcel with respect to its initial position will help us to know about the atmospheric stability. Let's air parcel is sealed so no mixing and exchange of air is possible. On ground the air inside and outside environment is same. Now, lift the air parcel and release at a certain height. At this point, air inside the air parcel and outside environment are not same. If an air parcel is warmer than its surrounding environment, then it will be less dense than its surroundings and will rise like a hot air balloon. This is unstable air and has the potential for creating storms. If an air parcel is the same temperature as its surrounding environment, then the parcel will not move of its own accord. This is neutral air. If an air parcel is cooler than its surrounding environment, then it will be denser than its environment and will sink. This is stable air which generally leads to clear skies. A plot of temperature versus altitude is called a sounding. Dry adiabatic lapse rate or DALR. Any air parcel with relative humidity less than 100% is called unsaturated air. 
unsaturated air always cools at a rate of 10 degrees Celsius per kilometer. Remember that dry adiabatic lapse rate is 1 degree Celsius per 100 meters, or 3 degrees Celsius per 1000 feet, or 10 degrees Celsius per kilometer. Saturated adiabatic lapse rate or SALR. Any air parcel with relative humidity of 100% is saturated air. Saturated air parcel when moves up water vapors converts to liquid water due condensation. Condensation releases latent heat. The latent heat energy offsets and reduces the cooling due to expansion. So, saturated air cools a little more slowly, we will use an average rate of 6 degrees Celsius per kilometer, which is the moist adiabatic lapse rate. Remember, dry adiabatic lapse rate greater than saturated adiabatic lapse rate. Atmospheric stability determines whether or not air will rise and cause storms, sink and cause clear skies, or essentially do nothing. Stability is dependent upon the dry and saturated adiabatic lapse rates and the environmental lapse rate. We will eventually be able to compare a measured environment lapse rate with both the dry adiabatic lapse rate and saturated adiabatic lapse rate and determine the atmospheric stability condition. Dry adiabatic lapse rate and saturated adiabatic lapse rate are fixed rates and will always plot as shown. The environment lapse rate, on the other hand, is extremely variable and may plot in many different positions resulting in different stability conditions. In this example, dry and saturated both parcel plots are on the same side of the environment lapse rate, we refer to the condition as being absolute. In this case, both plots are on the left or cool side of the environment lapse rate. That is, both are on the stable side. This is called absolute stability. Air of any relative humidity will cool faster than the surrounding environment and will therefore not rise. Air would tend to sink and create clear skies. Dry adiabatic lapse rate greater than saturated adiabatic lapse rate greater than environment lapse rate. Absolute instability. In this, both parcel lines are on the right or warm side of the environment lapse rate. This means that air of any relative humidity will cool more slowly than the environment and therefore always be warmer than the surrounding environment. Air parcels will be buoyant and rise like hot air balloons. Air would tend to rise and create storms. Environment lapse rate greater than dry adiabatic lapse rate greater than saturated adiabatic lapse rate. In this case, environment lapse rate falls between the dry adiabatic lapse rate and saturated adiabatic lapse rate. Saturated adiabatic lapse rate is on the warm side and the dry. Adiabatic lapse rate is on the cool side of the environment lapse rate. This means that saturated parcels will be unstable and dry parcels will be stable. The overall picture is called conditional stability because one must know the condition relative humidity of a parcel to determine if it will be stable or unstable. Dry adiabatic lapse rate greater than environment lapse rate greater than saturated adiabatic lapse rate. Neutral stability. Environment lapse rate equals dry adiabatic lapse rate or environment lapse rate equals saturated adiabatic lapse rate the environment is neutral. The isothermal environment is absolutely stable. Environment lapse rate equals change in temperature by change in altitude. In isothermal change in temperature equals zero. Environment lapse rate equals zero. Environment lapse rate less than saturated adiabatic lapse rate. A temperature inversion represents an extremely stable situation. Rising parcels always cool with increasing altitude. In an inversion the surrounding air gets warmer and warmer with altitude. The difference between the cold parcel air and the warmer surroundings gets larger and larger with increasing altitude. 
the ground and the air above it cool during the night. The atmosphere is usually most stable early in the morning. As the day progress, sunlight warms the Earth's surface which increases the environment lapse rate thus atmosphere becomes unstable during afternoon. Can we fly in unstable air? The usual convection in unstable air gives a bumpy ride. In stable air, flying is usually smooth but sometimes can be plagued by low ceiling and visibility. Certain observations you can make on your own. Thunderstorms are sure signs of unstable air. Showers and clouds towering upward indicate strong updrafts and turbulent air. Stay clear of these clouds. Dusts are a sign of dry, unstable air, usually to considerable height. Your ride may be fairly rough unless you can get above the instability. Stratus clouds indicate stable air. Flight generally will be smooth, but low ceiling and visibility might require instrument flight rules. Restricted visibility at or near the surface over large areas usually indicates stable air. Expect a smooth ride, but poor visibility may require instrument flight rules. Thank <laughs> you.